Hello, my fellow readers. This is like Dark Symphony 777. I gotta fix this water. Alright, there we go. And this is actually going to be a different video than what I usually do. I mainly just do fan fiction related stuff. But last night, when I was about to sleep, I decided to like check my phone. Because sometimes my phone would like give up random articles of news. And I found an interesting article that I actually wanted to talk about. The article is called French Quarter Restaurant Sues TV Chef Gordon Ramsay Claims Kitchen Nightmare Scenes Fabricated. It's on the theadvocate.com. And I don't know why I, I mean I'm a big fan of Kitchen Nightmares. I've been I've been a big fan of Kitchen Nightmares for years. When I was growing up, my mom actually felt kind of started watching Hell's Kitchen together and then through that we discovered Kitchen Nightmares and we've been watching that for years together whenever we have the chance. <clears throat> and if you don't know what Kitchen Nightmares is, Kitchen Nightmares is basically Gordon Ramsay goes to these failing restaurants and tries to put them in shape. Uh, it doesn't usually work, but there's a lot of notable cases where it does work and, you know, the, the restaurant is doing big business. So I've been... So I want to at least talk about this article because I think it's interesting. So let's get started. The show was called Kitchen Nightmares and for one French Quarter restaurant featured on the an episode in 2011, The Bad Dream Won't End. In fact, the restaurant is suing the show star celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay and his producers for dredging up old footage of the restaurant while also accusing them of fabricating scenes to inject some added drama and make the restaurant look as bad as possible. Oceana Grill, a, seal, a seafood restaurant in a few steps off Bourbon Street, was once the subject of the Fox Network reality show. Over seven, seven seasons, more if you count the British version, the show featured Gordon Ramsay as a foul-mouthed truth talker brought in to turn around troubled restaurants. Okay, if I remember right, Oceana was the season finale of season three. Yeah, I believe it was season three. And it was probably one of the most memorable episodes, mainly because I think that was the episode that had that guy that says, Hello, my name is Nino! I don't, I don't, I can't remember. I know when people think of, like, the episodes of Kitchen Nightmares that they most think of, they think of Amy's Baking Company because that's the one where he gave up uh, Mama Sherry because it was the only one he really, it was the only one whose food he actually really liked. And it was more, uh, they had no idea how to manage a restaurant than anything. And, of course, Mama Sherry has her own YouTube channel. Um, Sebastian's, because... Oh, my God, Sebastian's. I can't, I can't even go into detail of that one, because that one was a mess. And I believe one other episode, I believe... I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember. Um... Maybe Black Pearl? I mean, maybe it was a Black Pearl? I can't remember. I believe... So... But people seem but people seem to remember this restaurant a lot. Okay, so let's continue. Oceana Grill, a seafood. Oh wait, wait. Oh, yeah, uh, seafood restaurant. A few steps off Bourbon Street was once the subject. Uh, okay, I already read this part. The Oceana Grill episode aired in 20, uh, 2011. It met uh, May. I believe it was May nineteenth. Uh, I believe it was May nineteenth that the episode came out. Uh, oh, May twentieth. I was off by a day. All right. Uh, episode in, aired in 2011, but last week, a clip was posted to Facebook with an especially revolting scene of Ramsay inspecting the kitchen and subsequently vomiting after getting a whiff of some shrimp stored there. The shrimp was bad, basically. Uh, I mean, he puked. One, I believe that's one of the few instances where he actually vomited on scene. I know I know there's a couple other episodes. I know, see, I know Sunset Fiesta, he did it too. Well, let's continue. On Wednesday, the parent company of Oceana for Oceana Grill filed a lawsuit in Orleans Parish Civil District Court against Ramsey and the production team company behind Kitchen Nightmares. The restaurant company Cajun Conti claims defamation and seeking damages and also asking the court to block the use of the clip. Um, I don't... Okay, let's continue. The problem we have is the fact that it's so misleading, said Daniel Davalier, an attorney for Oceana Grill. People think it's something current when it's in fact very old. Okay, that makes sense. The clip was aired last week. It's seven years past Oceana. Oceana is actually doing big business. Uh, when I looked up the date, it actually said Oceana is has a 4.4 rating score. 
So it's st it's still doing business. It's still doing good business. So it kind of makes sense so far. Let's continue. The clipping question was posted late last late last week, and by Thursday evening, it had garnered some 1.5 million views. By Friday morning, the clip was no longer available on Facebook. However, another video showing some of the same scenes, including of Ramsey retching in the restaurant, was posted to the Kitchen Nightmares Facebook page on Thursday morning. It had racked up 1.2 million views by Friday morning. I actually looked up the Nightmare um, yeah, YouTube because I remember he also they also uploaded uh, the clip to YouTube. Let's let me look at how many blah 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 nightmares. There we go. So let's look at let me turn off the let me turn off the sound. Alright here we go. Alright. Uh, currently Oh wait, wrong clip. Um I think it was either there's two clips for Oceana on the kitchen currently on uh, Kitchen Nightmares once a week. Uh, owner gets angry and breaks a chair, and then owner doesn't want to learn British. Okay, so I can't remember. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. No. Um. I don't. I don't use Facebook. Sorry, if I went on the YouTube for going on the YouTube page, I don't use Facebook, so I don't. So I don't know when if it, if it'll ever be on YouTube or anything. But I think I think the the video was posted on YouTube. Okay, so so far it kind of makes sense. Uh, let's see where was I. It raked up 1.2 million views by Friday morning. In the lawsuit, attorneys for Cajun Conti claimed that. Post in the clip violated a 2011 agreement between the restaurant and the show, and they claim the show's producers went beyond their creative liberty, manufacturing fake scenes and portraying Oceana Grill in a false light. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. Um, there are a couple episodes that kind that kind of looked like they were uh, staged, but turned out to be not. Uh, the two most notable was the episode Blackberries, where in the scene the scene in question is Gordon Ramsay entering the restaurant and then discovering a dead rat in the corner right next to the en exit slash entrance and then they the owners accuse them of staging the rat yet the fact you know the camera didn't even notice the rat until Gordon Ramsay kind of pointed out plus there's also the s opening scene from Emmy's Bacon Company when the camera crew was setting up and they discovered Sammy one of the owners actually berating a customer and you know threatening to violent and you know Gordon Ramsay and that was like them still setting up the footage so that eh, Fabricating scenes, that's not exactly, that's not exactly, you know, true. So if it's just based off that, then the case will be thrown out. The case is going to be thrown out if it's, if it's just that. Uh, let's see. During the film episode's filming, defendants went to great lengths to over-dramatize and even fabricate problems with the restaurant in order to increase ratings, the suits reads. The footage intentionally portrayed Oceana and its employees in a patently, in a oh, patently false and negative light as if as it depicted the appealing restaurant as an unsuccessful, unsanitary, and mismanaged restaurant. That's because it is. If Gordon Ramsay showed up at Oceana all the way back in 2011, then something had to have gone wrong with the restaurant. Whether it's man management, it was unsuccessful, or it was unsanitary, which is, which is, you know, which is true. I mean, a lot of people actually asked Gordon Ramsay to come here, so I don't know what was the deal, how he came about Oceana. Either one of the owners basically asked him, said, can you help this, or someone who... Or somehow he found about the Oceana's problems and wanted to help. The five-minute clip would be hard for any restaurant customer to stomach, never mind a restaurant owner. It shows customers in the dining room complaining about food and sending back dishes, which is true. Every ep every episode has this, more or less. And the restaurant chef roughly dismissing their complaints. It shows Ramsay rummaging through the kitchen food storage areas and turning up one example after, after another of unsanitary conditions while he loudly berates the chef. He does this a lot, too, most notably in Fiesta, um, Fiesta Sunrise. Yeah. Uh, the an argument ensues while the sh with the chef cursing back at Ramsay. The clip includes an extended scene of Ramsay vomiting after opening a bin of shrimp. Later, it shows Ramsay opening a rodent trap and finding three dead mice in it. Okay. 
He vomited a couple times in the show, and, you know, he got sick, supposedly, one time. Uh, in the suit, Keijin uh, Conti's attorneys contend that none of the above described events were real, but were contrived and orchestrated by defendants to manufacture drama for the show. If I know, I've, I've met people who smelled rotten shrimp, and that, and it's nearly impossible not to throw up from smelling, like, incredibly rotten shrimp. You're more, you're more than guaranteed to throw up your stomach, so, ah, uh, so, still bullshit so far okay in addition to ramsey the suits for the suit from cajun conti names as defendants upper ground enterprises a smith co and oppo optimum productions kitchen nightmares was part of east Lewis reality tv shows focused on the inner workings of restaurant this particular show was based on ramsey kicking troubled restaurants in the shape basically a lot of other restaurants they, they became not as popular i believe the only popular offshoot that this that kitchen nightmares kind of started was bar rescue and bar rescue is actually a pretty big hit but that would be the only really popular. Oh, shoot! Oh, something, something fell. Uh, that would be the only. Yeah, that would be the only one. Okay. Uh, Oceana Grill, however, evident, evidently had misgivings about the show early on after the taping. In 2011, the restaurant company sued Fox Broadcasting and Upper Ground Enterprises, trying to block them from broadcasting episode to prevent any impending harm to Oceana business, according to court filings. So, so Oceana wanted didn't want their ugly business so it sounds like in this paragraph oceana didn't want the show episode to air because they didn't want their dirty laundry aired that's what it so that's what it sounds like to me although the episode did air on may 20th 2011 cajun conti says in its current suit that the two sides reached an agreement that year that restricted defendants use of the footage of the episode okay According to that settlement, if the show's producers used remixed footage from the episode in the future, they were required to pay the restaurant an additional ten thousand and present an update statement about the current condition of the restaurant. All right, that that actually sounds kind of fair to me. I'll get I'll get a little more into that at the end. Uh, the new clip, the restaurant's attorneys argued in their filing, implied that the choreographed events in the trailer were still plaguing Oceana. They argued that when the producers issued a remix, they had a contractual obligation to provide a positive factual statement about Oceana's then current business. That, and they said they and that they should have exercised more caution to avoid portraying Oceana as a current grotesque inedible restaurant. Daviel, the restaurant's attorney, said in an interview that the clip portrays the Oceana Grill as a failing restaurant when in fact it's very successful. A lot of, a lot of reviews said it's currently successful and still doing good business. The food is great and the people love it. They should come down and see for themselves, he said. Oceana Grill with a menu of Pooh Boys, seafood platters, um, uh, fish entrees, and char grilled oysters does typically grow, draw a crowd. It's common to see a line of customers waiting outside the table for on busy days. Ramsey was last seen in New, was last in New Orleans in 2017 to tape a new restaurant rehab show called Gordon Ramsey's 24 Hours to Hell and Back. For this show, he visited the Old Coffee Pot, another French Quarter eatery, where in a wildly circulated clip, he was shown discovering a dead mouse, this time in a toaster. How, how does a mouse end up dead in a toaster? kind of weird. In 2014, the Daily Mail newspaper in England reported that 60% of the restaurants that appeared on Kitchen Nightmares closed some before their episodes even aired. One of those was the local restaurant Zeke's and Own Maid Tree, which was part of a 2011 episode and closed the following year. Kitchen Nightmares itself ended in 2014 after seven seasons. Oh. Alright, that's the end of it. Um, so, reading through this article, I can see that they have they in essence have two sides of of a court of a court suit on one hand there is the defamation lawsuit which more than likely that side of of it it's gonna it's gonna get thrown out i i, I can i can easily see a judge not buying that part of the bullshit and throwing out the case however i can see the the second clause for the remix footage of providing an update i can see that going uh that part of the case going through into court with and you know gordon ramsey being there and i and either you know it, it would take a while or gordon ramsey's like okay if you, if it's just ten thousand and just you know an update statement 
then it wouldn't be no skin off Gordon Ramsay's bones because he's rich. I mean, he's really, he's loaded with money from all his restaurants, all his jobs. So 10000 is just a dip on the water for him. And if, if it's just an update st- and just stating an update saying, oh, the restaurant's still open, it's still doing good business, it wouldn't be that bad. But I still think that unless they, re- I think if they rework the court documents if they like sue him just for the the re, the remix thing then i could easily see that being court but the i believe the court case the the entire court uh, the um the accusation the subpoena whatever you want to call it is going to get thrown out simply because of the first half i mean it might not if anything they're probably just going to rework it get rid of that first half and just sue them for the remix but I don't, I don't see why they would want to claim. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of hard because on one hand, you have the the stage fabricated stuff, which is bullshit. Any fan of the show and Gordon Ramsay and a lot of other people will probably say that's bullshit. But I can, I can agree with them on the remixed footage. I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but I have, a, I have a habit of doing that. So, do I think they? So, do I think they're gonna ha, They're gonna be able to take in the court. I'm gonna say a seven, a seventy percent chance of the case being thrown out. If any, and the thirty percent chance would, is only really on the second half of the, of the lawsuit, the remix footage. But I'm, st- but more than likely, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the case is gonna be thrown out. Um. So tell me your thoughts on the entire situation. This has been Dark Symphony 77 and 